Welcome back everyone to Piney Place to Tabaxi where it appears that we have a Ceratopian head over here. Now have we always had one of these things here or is this something that was added for Isle of Dread? Now it's not a Triceratops because I don't see the extra pair of horns there but it looks like something like a Protoceratops or something like that. Hmm. I wonder what that's all about. I think we're going to have to find out. It looks like we have the Dread Bundle item vendor. Well met, adventurer. I carry specialized goods that can only be acquired by people who have been authorized. Alright. Well, I think I'm authorized. Let me claim something. I'd like to claim something from the Collector's Bundle, the Ultimate Bundle, and to claim one of everything, including one-time only items if available. Right, let's go. All right, we'll see what that all gave me. <laughs> uh, this section of my inventory was empty before I started this. So let's see what I get here. I get a raptor pet, or combat pet. Well, that's not going to do... Oh, here's a level 7 version of it. So I can have a raptor hireling then. Let's have a raptor at my side. The higher level one, I'll just have to put that into my bank. And I'll put this with the, I think the higher links I'd like to put on this page right over here. So let's put the seventh level raptor right over there. And it looks like I got a few things to go through here. Oh, a treasure map. In fact, this treasure map will allow me to teleport to not just to the Isle of Dread, but I believe it allows me to teleport to yeah the Clifftop Tower in District in Sharn. So four places in Sharn to Ravenloft, to the Feywild, to Salt Marsh, or to the Isle of Dread. That way you don't have to carry multiples if you're jumping from place to place. Now that's convenient. We can look at the goodies when we get to the Isle of Dread, but for now, let's speak with Wolf uh, Soulfork. Fine, Purr. Foxfall sent me to find you. He said something about the island is coming back, and the conch is the key. Anyway, he wants you to meet him at the North Shore Wharfs right away. Alright, I'll go meet with Foxfall right away, and say, enter the first Isle of Dread quest, Captive of the Hidden God. The crash of the breaking timbers, the roar of the sea, the laughter of a cold and distant god. And something about pirates? You suddenly find yourself bobbing in the water, trying to reconstruct how you ended up here. Where am I? Wait! It's all coming back to me now. And now we enter the quest and remember the story of how I traveled to the Isle of Dread. Captive of the Hidden God. Oh, fun. Ah, I have arrived at a shore. We have the Conch of Secrets there. And Foxpaw, I see a portal right up there. Foxpaw stands on the black sand beach, surrounded by wreckage. He doesn't seem to know where he is, or how he got there. Well, that's never a good sign. And he's always a bit of a strange one anyway. What if I bring up my hirelings? I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea. Especially with Flower there, since Flower is on a timer. And we also have... Ooh, a Raptor Pet. Oh yes. This is... <laughs> most definitely a 21st century version of a Raptor, that's for sure. It doesn't look like how someone would have envisioned a raptor back in... back when the Isle of Dread was originally published. Well, what do you say, Foxpaw? What do you think about a raptor? Ugh! Feels like there's a nail in the back of my head that someone keeps tapping, like a hiccup of pain. It, it's hard to concentrate. Ugh! Now, what happened? Uh, I'm not undead, am I? <laughs> Turns Jeets' 
first words to you it, over its head, I guess. Yes. The very first words Jeets gives you when you when you create a new character. Which of course is, you aren't the dead, are you? So, yes, I guess we have a chance for someone to actually see it the other way around. Well, do you remember how this started? At the docks, back in Stormreach? Uh, begin at the beginning, friend. Uh, maybe you'll jolt my memory? You had asked me to meet you back at the North Shore Wharves. You said that you needed me to... me for something important. Oh, okay. Let's start the flashback, I guess. Or well, doesn't remember how you ended up on this distant shore. So you tell him the story. A tale of pirates, a shipwreck, and an angry god. It all started back in Stormreach. Back in Stormreach. Uh, we're actually gonna flash back all the way to Stormreach. Foxpaw had sent a message summoning you to the harbor. Before you could find him, oh. you were accosted by a mysterious stranger. Oh, this is your home. A hidden world, raw, right. And untouched. So unlike the Feywild, the crossroads of Im imaginings as bold as time. But this place, tucked away for so long, it could be filled with, well, <laughs> anything. Do that, there's only time to pick up an item or three. I must return for a longer visit. So, are you after Codex Pages again after your Feywild plan failed? Oh, this is the same mysterious stranger that talks to Hearsome, I guess? The Codex Pages? <laughs> no, not today. All things in good time. This is just a brief visit. Every explorer likes to survey his discoveries and perhaps take home a souvenir. I'll be keeping an eye on you, that's for sure. You won't be able to hide your plans from me. Yes, well, you're one of the great heroes of this place, are you not? You'll figure it out. Eventually. I'm quite sure of that. Wait, what do you mean by... I'll be watching you, adventurer. The stranger vanished as suddenly as he appeared. Then, Foxpaw hailed you from the water's edge. He wanted to discuss the strange teleporting island. Strange teleporting island. Oh, that's right. He's a drow, right? I was wondering, why does he have a scorpion pet? Because he, he's a drow. All right. Well, let's see. Is that the island in question? The teleporting island is back, just as the conscious secrets predicted. The island showed up late last night, through the fog, though the fog hid it until mid-morning. Magically created fog. The whole thing smells of magic. Very powerful magic. What, is this the Brigadoon of Stormreach or something? Well, if the island is back, uh, will those pirates return as well? Oh, naturally. In fact, is, there's the pirate ship right over there at the docks. You showed up just in time. It'll be pirates. We'll be there any minute. Okay. Oh, oh, you'll bet that pirates will be there any minute. Yes, okay. Wh what else? Yeah, okay, I have some questions. What exactly did the conscious secrets tell you? Oh, the conch said, The hidden god travels to your door. Following the isle's shifting shores, he gathers secrets grown from blood, a crop he'll reap as well as sow. I had been hoping that the conch would tell me something useful about the codex pages, but <laughs> uh, no such luck. Not surprising, really. The devourer isn't interested in interplanar mecha mechanics. He has, ah... Uh, more violent taste. Yes, I guess so. Now, 
tell me the jobs and I'll get right to it, okay? Foxpaw said he wanted to show you some experiments related to the conch of secrets. Oh, conch. He had mounted the magical artifact onto an arcane device he had built. Look at this. All right. So, all right, I'll look at it. Yes, when the conch um, predicted the Isle's return, I immediately started to work on this my latest device. And this is it. It got a little big, so I had to build it out here. So, what does this device do? I hope it's not as bad as the last one. Uh, are you trying to destroy the conch like you tried to destroy the codex pages? No, 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 no! On the contrary! This device was built to amplify the power of the conch's magical signature. If the conch was flickering a flickering flame of magical force before, it's now a raging bonfire. Anyone with any magical skill should be able to find it. Why? You'll be able to detect it from another plane. Alright, but hasn't amplifying the signature made it easier for the pirates to find the conch and to find us? Exactly! I've been trying to uncover the conch's secrets for weeks and getting nowhere. But those pirates, well... They tried to steal the conch once before, didn't they? So, they must have had a reason for it. Meaning that they must know something about it. Therefore, to learn the conch's secrets, I'm summoning the people who know something about it. Simple, right? <sighs> Except for the part that the pirates keep attacking us. Let's hope that they're... Your thirst for secrets doesn't get us killed. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> but sure, you take care of the few puny pirates, right? And then we'll question them and learn the conch secrets. Uh, we'll see what happens. Stay on guard. Foxpaw had amplified the artifact's magical signature, creating bait to draw the pirates to you. Was this a bold strategy or reckless insanity? You were about to find out. A pirate made her way up from the docks. Aye, we're back. And this time, this time you won't escape. Surrender now, and my shipmates won't have to break any of your bones. Uh... Okay, that voice does not fit the avatar. That's all I gotta say about that. You there! Hand over the conch and come with me, or we can get, er, we can get into it. Which will it be? Why do you want the conch of secrets? And can you tell me more about it? Ha ha ha! I don't know anything about this conch, but I know my master wants it, and what my master wants, he gets. You don't say no to a god. Hand this thing over now and come with me, and maybe you'll get lucky. Maybe you'll never meet him. I'm not too sure handy is the best word to use when it comes to... If the, if the god in question is Vecna... <laughs> anyway, I, I don't see your god here in any case, so if you want that conch, you'll have to go through me. Unamused by your answer... The leader of the shore party gave a signal. Pirates instantly swarmed up. The leader fell. But even as she lay dying, she did not concede defeat. Of course she did it. Vecna, god of secrets, come to us. Come. Oh, I was wondering. I was wondering how long it'll take them to reveal that that god is Vecna. Then the mysterious stranger shimmered into view again. The pirates instantly fell to their knees. A strange feeling washed over you. You dare ask me to fix your bungling? You dare invoke the name of Vecna? The mysterious stranger transformed, taking on a new and terrifying shape. Yet for some reason, you found yourself unable to attack. Wonderful. Gatekeeper. Pick that up. 
As if in a trance, Foxpaw obediently retrieved the conch of secrets. The Grand. You will be punished for your failure. But for now, that must wait. Let us finish the business at hand. Thou, give the artifact to this half orc lord. Take these fools to the ship, then prepare to set sail back to the island. Wonderful. Quickly, worms! This world's defenses are yet untested. I will personally deal with these interlopers. And examination is mine. Simply wonderful. It looks like I found a clue. Oh, you did? The effects of the gods' magical domination wore off hours later. You awoke, imprisoned inside the brig of the pirate ship. Wonderful. What do you say, Fox Paul? Captured on a pirate ship, headed to who knows where. Not great. Not terrible. Honestly, I've seen worse. Uh, we both have. What did you make of this Vecna? Oh, did you notice how Vecna didn't seem to be interested in the conch? He seemed more interested in... Us! Yeah, they called him a god. Uh, that can't be good. Oh, if Vecna's a god, he's not one of Eberron's. No, my keeper training familiarized me with the most of those, down to the most minor um, Delkir. So Vecna's must be one of the other world or plane. Hmm. And he must also be quite powerful if he's able to teleport to that island or dominate us remotely like that. The domination spell is odd too. I felt like I was in control of my own actions, but I couldn't attack Vecna or his followers. Yes, none of this makes any sense. What does a god want with a pirate ship? Or us, for that matter. We should get out of here. Uh, think you can use your artificer trick to pop up one of those gates open? Uh, let's see what the poor the hidden panel... Oh, ta-da! Fortunately, these pirates aren't very clever. Well, how nice that he's an artificer. Alright, well... Oh, Aquamancer. I was wondering, what is that? Of course, Aquamancer. Who else needs summoning water spirits? All right, now, what else? Is, who has the search ability? Hold on, the there's a search ability for my raptor. <laughs> okay. Well, obviously, can't see. I was hoping it would be a good search ability. Oh, there's another control panel there. Oh, there's a control panel to the, to that. Well, unfortunately, the raptor doesn't know how to pick locks. That's a bit of a problem. Let's head out this way. A dread raptor. Okay, interesting. The... The raptors here are... The enemy raptors seem to be old school raptors, and our raptor is a new school raptor. Undead minions. Oh, hello. Oh, undead minions all over the place. Dread undead. Alright, are we are we done fighting yet? Oh, hold on, what's this? Hello? Oh, crewman. Actually, let me Nautical map. The chart is 
titled The Isle of Dread. On closer inspection, this is no normal nautical chart. Instead, it's a list of magical incantations. Notes in the margins describe the island teleporting. For some reason, there is also multiple references to the elemental plane of water. Well, I suppose the elemental plane of water would be... The chart was labeled the Isle of Dread, though it was less of a chart and more of a list of magical incantations. Notes in the margin describe the island teleporting, and there were multiple references to the elemental plane of water. So in other words, he was reiterating what I just said. Now, is everything down here? Well, we might as well just get through here. Up through here, up through here. Might as well break as many things as possible. We don't know all that we need in order to do anything because this is my first time through this adventure. That's right. This is release day for the Isle of Dread. Alright. The half orc fell in battle. At least now, she no longer had to fear the vengeance of the god Vecna. Oh, oh here she is. And Bergrin the pirate is the Finally, whew. All right, defeat the ship's crew, defeat the captain, and read all the notes. And there are four notes left. Oh, and there's a crude altar. What is if I try to pick up the conch of secrets? You grab the conch, and there is no time to lose. Oh. They just let me take it. It's just that now there's no time to lose. Oh! I... So I think this is just... Alright, so when the keys I had unlocks that door. So if I need to rest up, I can go to that place. Is everybody here? All together? Good. Upstairs. Now let's head back here. Is there any more notes? Because apparently there are supposed to be more notes lying around. Oh, there are also more cultists around, apparently. Emissary, your Lord Vecna directs the Hidden Hand to offer all of the necessary aid to the pirates to the Isle of Dread. Help them obtain the Conch of Secrets and capture those troublesome adventurers. Then we can return to our attention to the Planar Eyes. So apparently their main target are the Planar Eyes. And that's why they... W A Dread Cook! Alright. I would presume they're that anything the Dread Cook makes it won't be worth eating or anything like that then? What's up here? A muffled voice called up from up above. All hands on deck! The signal's up! And the island is teleporting! Hold on! Hold on. So, so they have some special ability to teleport this island? Well, let's go to the Dread Raptors. The old school Raptors. And we're on the other side. Scan the waters. We need to steer clear of the local wildlife. Oh, sink me. How did those bilge rats get out of that cage? Hey! Don't call me a bilge rat. I'm a cat. Uh-oh. Uh, actually, at this rate, I'm getting dead. Hey, 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 hey. Thank you! Hey! Oh, 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 There we go. The Dread Pirate Captain. Vecna's form reappears, towering over you. 
Forget any thought of escape. The island has already teleported. And this ship along with it. Know this. You are trapped on this plane by my will. I control the only way off of the Isle of Dread. I will attend to you in due time. For now, make your way on the Isle of Dread. If you can. Wonderful. The coolest ship was now adrift. There was a sudden thud, then a rending crack. A gigantic creature reared out of the depths, shattering the wooden ship. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. You were forced to swim for your life. Fortunately, the ship had sunk near that strange teleporting island. You soon found yourself near shore. Oh, wonderful. Well... Wreckage all over the place. This looks familiar. We have the Conk of Secrets. We have Foxfall. I've finished my story, it looks like. Oh, I guess I need to speak with him for or do I have to pick this up? What do you say? Hmm. <laughs> Feels like there's a nail in the back of our head. If you want to explore the Isle of Dread, click on the nearby exit waypoint. If you want to return to the Stormy Harbor, click on the finish button. And that's how we ended up stuck on this island. Yeah. And so we found ourselves held captive by the god Vecna, shipwrecked on the mysterious Isle of Dread. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. Now, I suppose I should... Oh, note. This appears to be note from the ship's log. We skirted the coastlines of several islands, sailing south by west until we reached a small peninsula cut off from the main island by the massive stone wall. We were well received by the villagers of Tanora and the small village that guards this wall. The villagers told us the tale of an ancient city in the central highlands of the isle that was built by the same people who built the wall. The inland city is rumored to be filled with treasure beyond imagining. We sailed around the island. We were afraid to land since village fishermen had warned us, warned us that it would be as extremely dangerous to land anywhere on the main island and the coasts were rocky with no beaches. R B. Oh well, and I suspect that I missed a couple of notes as I was going through there. Ah well, too bad. I suppose there's nothing left to do except to go through this. And we'll find out what's on the other side when we get to the next episode of Piney Place The Tabaxi.